Hello, Mr. Zonker here. In this video, we're going to be talking about some geometric symbols and how they relate to congruence. Just as a reminder, congruent means it's the exact same shape and the same size. It's like you cloned whatever it is, it's exactly the same. And we use this little equal sign with a squiggly on top, kind of like a little wig on top. And whenever you see this congruent symbol, you know that things are congruent. We've dealt a little bit with this with transformations, because we know when we transform shapes with translations, rotations, and reflections, they are congruent. We have these two congruent triangles down here, and these lines on the sides and the arcs on the angles, they tell us which sides and angles are congruent. Uh, this is a congruent statement for the whole triangles. Triangle ABC, that's ABC, is congruent to triangle DEF. And you can see A and D have the same arcs. Uh, side a, B, a to B here has two tick marks, side D to E has two tick marks. And we know that as long as these pieces match up to where they're congruent, the whole shape is also going to be congruent. We refer to line segments by giving them a little line on top and the two points that make them up. So here we have line AB, line AB, line segment AB is congruent to line segment DE. And we can see that because they both have two tick marks. Angle A, this little falling over L here that looks like an angle, that says angle A with one arc is congruent to angle D, which also has one mark. Let's take a look at this figure here. Here we've got uh, A, B, C, uh, A, B, C, D, and it looks like we have an angle here, an angle here, and then a big angle here. So what is angle A? Well, it's a little bit more confusing at this point because it, it might be any one of these angles. So when we have different angles formed at one vertex, the vertex is where the two line segments meet and kind of form an angle. When we have more than one option, we need to be a little bit more specific. In this case, we can say angle BAC, that would be angle BAC with the vertex in the middle, that point where the actual angle is right in the, in the middle. So if the angle's not clear, like in our triangle examples, Make sure you use three points to specify exactly what angle you're talking about. Here we've got two more figures, and looking at this first one, it looks like we have a line segment A to B with this point M, which looks like right in the middle. And we can see that this AM is congruent to line segment MB by this one tick mark. And so we say that M, the point in the middle, is the midpoint of segment AB. Whenever you see midpoint, you know that each of the halves are going to be equal uh, or congruent to one another. Here we have kind of the same situation, but with angles. We've got angle XWY is congruent to angle YWZ. We could see with these arcs here showing that they're congruent. So, that we, so we can say that segment WY bisects or splits into two equal pieces angle XWZ. Z. So midpoint and bisect are telling you that the individual halves are congruent to one another. Moving on. In math, there is a difference between expressing measurement and expressing congruence. Here we've got a figure. We can see that uh, this side BC has a measurement of 5. And to express that measurement, we don't use the line segment symbol. We just say BC, the two points, equals 5. Same thing for this angle. We see this angle has a measure of 40 degrees. We say that M, the measure of angle BCH, BCH, equals 40. When discussing measurement, we don't use the congruence symbol. We just use equals. This is the measure of line segment BC, measure of angle BCH. On the other hand, we also see that CH equals 5. So we can say that line segment BC with the line segment symbol is congruent to line segment CH. And I will leave you with this word of wisdom. Trust the marks, not your eyes. In math, not everything is drawn to scale. We can see that these two angles do not look congruent at all. However, they both have one arc, so we can conclude that angle X is congruent to angle Y. Just like if things look congruent, you don't know unless we have information proving that. So again, trust the marks, not your eyes. Hope this video has been helpful.